good folks. Um, I got a quick one, man. I don't have a whole lot. Didn't get any commits. Nothing on 4th of July. We've been vibing. Just want to update the people on a few recruits. Uh, John Denson Jr., Jet Denson, the uh, defensive back out of Rhode Island um, that Miami was also recruiting. We were recruiting. I spoke about him a few shows ago, and I said that he needed to work out again uh, for a committable offer. He was supposed to come back. Um, I reported that he was going to come back, but he never showed back up, never worked out mm -hmm. again. Uh, so he couldn't commit to us, but he, he made a decision to Michigan State this past week. So shout out mm -hmm. to Mel and the boys for getting a good one. I think he's a ball player. I still, I still stand beside that. Um, Kevin Levy is another guy that that's supposed to came back and worked out for uh, Corey Raymond. Certain guys he just wanted to work out, you know, to, to figure out his board. He wanted to see him work out in person. Uh, Levy didn't work out neither. So you see where it says Florida State, Louisville. I do think if he had a committable offer, we'd be in the mix there. But I do, and I like Levy a lot as well. I think he's going to be real good. I think he could play on either side of the ball. I do like him better as a defensive back. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, decisions that's coming up. Fletcher Westpaw decides tomorrow. Four-star offensive tackle out of Leesburg, Virginia. His recruitment is down to us in Clemson, I believe. I think we land this kid tomorrow. I've been speaking about, you know, us and the possibility of adding a four-star offensive tackle to this bunch. And I think this is this is our shot at it, and I think we land this kid. We'll see where we're at with the Jordan Seaton kid that's at, at, at IMG. Um, I like I like where we're at in his recruitment as well. I don't think we leave, but didn't think we led for Fletcher neither. Um, before yesterday, I started getting some information that uh, that we may be landing him. We'll see tomorrow, though. Um, so he decides tomorrow. Another decision that's coming up soon is Jalen Crawford. Um, defensive back, I think, is leaning towards, I think it's an Auburn-LSU battle. I don't know how high we are regarding in, in, in his recruiting. He's from LeBron, LeBron Georgia, Parkview. Um, he took three official visits. It was us, Auburn, and LSU. But I think it's an Auburn-LSU um, battle. Haven't been hearing a lot about him as far as our defensive backboard, so. We'll see how it all plays out, but he decides soon. I think this coming week. I don't have an exact date, but he's going to decide soon. Um, the barbecue is on the way as well. Hmm. I spoke with uh, my man, um, Miles Graham, the linebacker commit, uh, oh, at yeah. the media day event. And we, we talked a little bit behind the scenes about some recruiting, the cookout, you know, the group chat. Who's in that group chat? What's the vibes like, man? Uh, he seemed to think there's going to be a few commits on, on, the, on the cookout day. We'll see. I have Teddy Foster, the, the three-star defensive back out of Sarasota, Florida. I have him on commit watch from that day for sure. Um, his final three that he announced this week was Miami, North Carolina, and Florida. His sister just graduated from the University of Florida. Um, out of the big, out of those three, North Carolina was the first three, first one to offer. We came in. I know Miami was trying to get, like I spoke a few weeks ago, they were trying to get him on campus. Hasn't done that yet. We'll see if it happens. But right now, I think we leave for Teddy, and I think we land him on that day. We'll see what happens. Another big one that's going to be there for the cookout is DJ Pickett from the 2025 class, the number one ranked safety. He can play on both sides of the ball, ball as well. He'll be in town. Um, I think his decision is going to be – it's going to go go down the road a little bit. This is not going to be a quick one, but good for the staff getting him on campus. We can start working on that 2025 class early. Uh, a linebacker that's going to be there as well is uh, 2025 Riley Pettyjohn. He's teammates. He's from Texas, so he's teammates with uh, our, our safety commit Xavier Fisami. Um, and also, it's gonna be called Grill in the Ville Cookout. Shout out to Shannon and them boys, man. They're gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? Cooking like CJ and his neighbor. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna collab a little bit. That's crazy. I like it, man. We'll see what happens, man. That's all I got right now, man. That's all I got. Another big, a top 100 prospect from the 2025 class. Uh, Michael Fasasi, he'll be in town August twenty seventh, right after Versace. the dead period. That's all Versace. I got, man. Versace. We made a stadium announcement. They're gonna upgrade the place with four hundred million dollars, so God we got to flex some money, make it rain a little bit. Four hundred mil. Yeah, they're gonna drop four hundred mil in that thing. See if we can make it. Woo! Yeah. Man, I like to see that. I've never been to the swamp, so we got we got to no? get me in the swamp. No, I've never been. Never been. Um. That's one of my goals uh, this season. I like to get in the swamp. Cause like, you Austin, know, what do y'all play at? What do y'all play at next year? Who us? 
Yeah, y'all y'all play next not this upcoming but next year, right? I think it's Orlando again, right? Oh, so no, it's a home and home, home, isn't it? It's home and home. I think y'all got first. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, bring, I'm pretty sure. Bring I'm pretty that sure. Funky, y'all bringing that funky shit into our town, man. We let y'all pull up. And, <laughs> that's crazy. We, we do those some culture, do, man. Bringing some culture. Man, we got to do this. like neutral sites with Miami, bro. We can't be bringing them folks in the game. <laughs> yeah, we coming in there. <laughs> we coming in there. <laughs> y'all can wish y'all hadn't. Why? <laughs> all, all this mid that Mario lining up. Y'all, y'all got to bring man. all that shit. All the players in the thousand, y'all gotta y'all gotta bust all that shit up in the swamp, man. We're gonna tear y'all ass up. <laughs> them quarterbacks ranked in the four thousand that you think gonna, gonna go up like that, <laughs> in the rankings and shit. Y'all gotta bring all that shit to the swamp, man. Uh, don't do it like that, man. Why you do it like that? Be cordial, man. Talk <laughs> nah, y'all talk better figure shit. something out on the recruiting trail, I tell you that, bro. They won't be playing that yet, hopefully. If we doing good, we shouldn't have to play them. That's the that's the goal. Um I'm trying to see that game real quick. 